Savior, I come, quiet my soul, remember, redemption's hill where your blood was spilled for my Welcome to Squamish Christian Fellowship's online worship. I hope you are doing well today and uh, I hope that you are enjoying your long weekend and uh, thank you for joining us as we continue to worship God. May this message, may these uh, verses that we are going to meditate be life for us, be an encouragement and uh, 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 keep our faith burning as we continue to grow in our faith and as we continue to live in this world. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful day, a beautiful sunny day. And uh, we have this day from you, O oh God. Thank you so much. And as we meditate your words, as we understand that our life 
here and in your kingdom. May we all go back to you more. May we all seek you more. May we uh, realize that the most important thing that we can have in this world right now is to have you. So I pray, God, that you open our hearts and minds and we, absor we may absorb this message wholly. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. In Matthew chapter 22, verses 23 to 32, the Sadducees were, were uh, trying to ask Jesus, question Jesus, and they want to trick Jesus. They're, they're always looking for a fault at Jesus' mouth. They're trying to make or find a way how they can blame Jesus, how can they evict Jesus, how can they kill Jesus, and how they can tell the people, your, your Messiah, your, the Jesus that you're following is only a human. So, uh, in, in verse 24, teacher, they said, Moses told us that if a man dies without having children, his brother must marry the widow and raise up offspring from for him. Now there were seven brothers among them, and the first died, and the the widow marries the second one according to the law of Moses. That marries the second one and still did not have a child, and marries the third up to the seventh one. So this is the, 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 the trick that they were, they were trying to ask Jesus. This is the question that they were trying to, to ask Jesus so they can find the fault in Jesus' answer. And, and in, in verse 28, in 27, finally the woman died. Now then, at the resurrection, whose wife will she be of the seven since all of them were married to her? The way, the way these people think is the way of the world. The, the, the way they, they, the, the Sadducees think is that they can catch Jesus and not just how to catch Jesus, but they are thinking how this world runs. And most of us are like that. We, 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 we plan, we think, we dream according to the world. According to how the world dictates us of how we live. How? Money is, the, money is important. But uh, satisfying ourselves with money is a worldly thing. When money becomes over our heart and our mind, and in fact, money becomes over our God, then it becomes a worldly thing. So everything that we seek before God, everything that we, we prioritize before God becomes worldly things. So these people are, are trying to, to ask Jesus this kind of, you know, if, if someone marries a, a, a man and he did not... Uh, he was unable to produce the widow, then he died, and the widow will marry the second one, and up to the seventh. And the, finally, the question, who will she marry in heaven, in, in, in her second life? And Jesus replied, you are in error because you do not know the scripture or the power of God. At the resurrection, people will neither marry nor be given in marriage. They will be like angels in heaven. So brothers and sisters, listen to this. After the resurrection, after the, the fact is that we will all die. We, you, may be, may, you may be rich or poor. You have houses or, or just trending. You have brand new cars or old car. Or you bike or you walk. You have beautiful clothes or, 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 or things of this world. We might all have these things. But we will still die. We can, medicine, machines, oxygen, 
the, the apparatus in the hospital might extend for an hour or a, a day or 15 or 30 days or a year. The treatment that we have may extend our life for another four or five years. But the truth is that we will all die. So when, 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 they, when Jesus answered them, there is an error in your question. You do not know what the scripture is saying. You do not know the power of God. So Jesus said, at the rest, after the resurrection, the people, and who, whose people are these? These people who believed in God. In John chapter uh, 14, I am the way, the truth, and life. So, no one comes to the Father except through me. And in and, 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 and two, Jesus said, I will go in the Father's house and I will prepare a house for you. In, in, in John 14, verses 1 to 6. So, those who believe in God, the Father, Jesus, will prepare a house in heaven. So, when, when Jesus was talking about the people, He talks about the believers. In John chapter 3, verse 16, whoever believes in Him will have an everlasting life. So the people here is, first, God loved us so much. God loved the world. But it is up to the world to believe in Jesus and to accept Jesus. So those who believe in him will not have an everlasting will not be perished but will have an everlasting life. So Jesus when, when Jesus is talk, talks about these people at the resurrection people will not marry or be married but they will be like angels in heaven. So those people are the people who believe in Jesus. If you believe in God, if you believe that Jesus is Lord, if you accept Him as your Lord and Savior, and you, 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 you live your life according to the will of God, then you are part of these people that Jesus is talking in Matthew chapter 22, verse 30. And then and how how Jesus made, made an example. They will be like the angels in heaven. So our destination is after this life. After we die. And the fact that when we die, we might be cremated or, or we'll be buried in, in, in a cemetery. And everything will be left here. Yes, it's good. We'll, we'll live uh, uh, things, house or car or, or, or savings or insurance to, to our kids and, and grandchildren. Those things are good, but not the best. Because we know that they will die too. Because everything in this world is temporary. So the, 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 the challenge here is that when we die, we, we, the challenge here is we need to focus in the things that will benefit us after we die. Because after death, that is eternity. And that eternity, we will live in eternity either in heaven, like the angels living in heaven or in hell for the sinners and under Christ. So the, the, the challenge is the challenge for us is are we focusing in the things of this world? Do we think the way we think, the way we dream, the way we focus? Is it according to the way of the world? Like the Sadducees? The, the, oh, there's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven men, and after that, who will she marry in heaven? And in verse 32, I am, Jesus said, I am the God of Abraham and God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. He is not the God of the dead, but of the living. So the God that we are serving is alive. 
And He is not a God of the dead. He is God of the living. And when you believe in God, you have an everlasting life. If you believe in Jesus, it means you are a living person. And He is our God. He is our God. So brothers and sisters, as we, we journey this world, as we, we, we think of the things that we will prioritize tomorrow or the next week or the next year, the way we think of our plans and our dreams, are we dreaming or, and thinking of the, the, of the things of this world or we should think more for the heavenly things? Because in heaven, we will be like angels. In Matthew chapter 6, verses 19 to 21, Do not store up yourselves treasures on earth where the moth and vermin destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But store up yourselves treasures in heaven where moths and vermin do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and still for where your treasure he is your heart will be also so jesus is telling us is store treasure in heaven when we when we a uh, dream dream of the heavenly things it's not bad to have cars it's not bad to have house it's not bad to to have food in the table. We all need these things. It's not bad to enjoy yourself, to enjoy the fruit of your labors. There's nothing wrong with it. It becomes bad when we put our heart in those things and we forget our God and we focus our heart to these material things and the things of the world. So Jesus said, focus your heart in the heavenly things. Store up yourselves treasure in heaven. Because in heaven, there's no thieves. There's no rust. There's no moths and vermin that destroys and kills and steals. But in this world, when we focus in these things, it's not just we cannot bring it in hell in heaven, but it might be also become a reason for us to forget God and put God behind. Brothers and sisters, as we close this evening, let us focus our hearts and minds to God let us let, let's put our effort in how we can worship him more and know him more and grow in him more and serve him more yes it, it, it's been more than a year that we have this COVID that we have this pandemic we lost family members we lost jobs, we lost uh, money, we lost so many things. But these things should not stop us in growing in our faith. These things should not stop us in thinking of heavenly things. But in fact, this, this situation should encourage us, inspire us more to focus more in Jesus, to focus more in heavenly things. As we see the world, as we saw what happened in a glimpse of our eye, everything changed. So let us focus in the things that cannot be shaken by COVID. Let us focus in the things that cannot be shaken by by, by the economy or or uh, the things of this world let us focus in God let us focus in Jesus let's find ways how we can grow more yes I myself and especially Janine and I 
we enjoy nature. We enjoy Canada. We enjoy we enjoy Squamish. <laughs> but see to it that as we enjoy things in this world, we do not forget God. But in fact, we prioritize God and allow Him to work in our lives so that we can enjoy His creation. Brothers and sisters, let us store things in heaven because after this life, we will be like angels in heaven, worshiping God, serving God honoring him there will be no pain there will be no sufferings but there will be joy and we will worship god for life i pray that you will have a wonderful weekend and a long weekend may you enjoy your family your friends with social distancing of course and may you enjoy the presence the beauty of creation, the awesomeness of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and Amen. Magandang gabi po sa ating lahat.